Hello again and welcome to my table tennis series of videos that you will be really, really enjoying and most importantly, you will be using to perfect your table tennis game. So welcome one more time. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. What are you waiting for? You will be receiving great table tennis videos from me. I usually post them once a week, usually in the middle of the week. So if you haven't seen the other videos that I have, please make sure to go to my channel and check them out. They're right there, specially waiting for you. So in the previous video, I talked about how to do the perfect forehand. Really hoping that you enjoyed that video and you were able to understand the nine key principles of doing a perfect forehand. And today I have a special video for you, which is how to do the perfect backhand in table tennis. That's right. Many people, when you talk about the backhand, they get scared because they think that it's very difficult. No, no, I'd rather do forehand all the time. Totally wrong. You know why? Because the backhand, believe it or not, is one of the easiest shots in table tennis. It's actually easier to do the backhand than to do a forehand. That's right. And you will be seeing that today for the first time. So I will be going over with you the seven key principles of doing the perfect backhand. So in my 20 something years of experience as a professional table tennis coach and top player here in Florida, I was always studying the game, making sure that I learned from the best and examining and thinking about how to do the perfect strokes all the time. So here are basically all the great information that I have acquired over the years, especially for you. So are you ready? Let's go. All right. So. The most important thing that you want to do when you do the backhand, always remember the following. The most important thing, like everything, like every other shot in table tennis, first, you have to separate your legs all the time. You have to play with your legs apart at least one meter. Keep that in mind all the time. And then you have to bend forward. Those are the two key principles. No matter what shot you're going to do in the game, those are the two most important principles before starting to do any shot in table tennis. So spread your legs and then kneel forward, right? Bend forward. Okay, so now let's get started. Are you ready? So like I said in my previous video, it is very, very important when you hold the table tennis racket to hold it all the way to the top, okay? With a relaxed manner, never squeeze it hard, just very relaxed. Then, especially now that we're gonna cover the backhand, check it out, very important. The finger has to be here all the time. Do not let this finger go up as you hit the backhand because that ball will be hitting your finger all the time and losing points. So make sure you keep that finger down. How do you do that? Well, by pressing slightly on the finger. That's basically it, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? You're gonna love this. Okay, so the most important thing when doing the backhand, check it out. Always remember this golden rule. You always, always start in the middle of your belly. That's right. You see over here, my racket is in the middle of my belly. Okay, so it always has to be at belly height and in the middle of your belly. In other words, never start a stroke from here or never start a stroke from here. You always start the stroke from the middle of your stomach at the belly height. That is the number one key principle, all right? So always remember that. Now let's go for number two. Extremely important as well. So like I said in my previous video, whenever you do the forehand, I hope you remember the L shape. You always have to have an L shape. You see that? L shape all the time when you, whenever you hit the forehand. The same rule applies in the backhand as well. You also have to have an L shape. You see that? This is the perfect position right here. So from the middle of your stomach, belly height and the L shape on your hand. Okay, so keep, always keep that in mind. So those are the number one and number two. You ready for a third one? You're gonna love this. Okay, so this is one of the most important one as well, that angle. Whenever you hit the ball, it has to have the right angle because if you have an open angle, if you're doing everything perfect, but you have an open angle, that ball is going to go up, you're gonna miss the table. If you have a closed angle, that ball is gonna go down and hit the net. So 
extremely important to have the right angle. The perfect angle is semi-close. So it's like this, semi-close. Okay, so let's start the position again from the middle. L shape, semi-close angle. You see that? And then make sure that whenever you go forward, do not, I repeat, do not move this over here. That angle has to be stiff, has to be, you see that? You cannot move this. If you move it even slightly, you will be missing the ball all the time. So I see that a lot from my students. They tend to move this. Do not move this, the angle. Just keep it all the way without moving. Extremely, extremely important. All right, so you ready? Let's go. For the fourth one, which is finishing forward and pointing at your opponent. Okay, it's, that's extremely, extremely important as well if you want to do the perfect backhand. Check it out, it's like this, all right? So, from the middle, L shape. Okay, so now, you always, absolutely always, you finish here, pointing at your opponent all the time. You never go to the side. I see people going to the side or going up or stopping it here. Do not ever do that. Basically, you want to finish pointing at your opponent all the time. Not just the backhand, all the shots in table tennis, you have to finish pointing at your opponent. The same rule applies with the forehand. You have to point at your opponent. Never go to, to the side. See that? It's the same thing. Point. Point. And you finish right here. Make sure that you finish the stroke, that you're looking at the racket whenever you finish the stroke. You have to be looking at it. Do not go like this. You see that? Because if you go like that, then it will be out of your sight. So one more time. Stop it right here. Facing, pointing at your opponent so you can see the racket. Hope you're loving this video. You're gonna do great on your backhand. Check it out, make sure you don't go away. Okay, so the next one is open racket. Okay, so the open racket, like I, like I said previously, whenever you hit the ball, it has to be in the perfect angle. Okay, that perfect angle is extremely important. And how do you know which angle to put on the ball? Okay, you have to pay attention. This is the key right here. You have to pay attention to what type of shot your opponent has hit the ball with. If he, you know, drove the ball like this, okay, it has a little bit of top spin on it. So with the semi-close angle, you will be perfect. You see that? Semi-close, semi-close, that will be perfect. Now, if he, if he hit the ball, with more topspin on it, then of course you have to close the angle a little bit more because if not, you will hit the ball up and you will miss the table. So you have to close the angle a little more, like this. See that? Okay, so check it out. This is gonna get really good. All right, so the next one is extremely important as well. Acceleration. What is acceleration? <laughs> Very simple. I see a lot of people that they hit the ball when they, when they're, whenever they hit the backhand, they go like this, check it out, they go. They're like they're tending, like they're blocking the ball, basically. They're not really hitting the ball. The purpose of doing a backhand shot, by the way, what we're doing here is actually a drive the ball. We're not hitting a, a top spin. We're not hitting the ball flat. We're just driving the ball. Driving the ball means it's just with a semi-close angle and then finishing forward. That's basically it. Okay, you see that? Just finishing forward. From here, from the middle, and finishing forward. Okay, so I do see Many people that they start the stroke, but they do it very soft and they do not accelerate to hit the ball. That is totally wrong because what they're doing is they're basically like blocking the ball. They're just like blocking the ball, blocking the ball, blocking the ball. So the key principle here is the ball is coming, right? So as you hit the ball in that precise moment, you have to accelerate, accelerate. See that? Accelerate. Accelerate, accelerate. Very important because that acceleration is the one that is going to guide your shot and give your shot power. If you do not do that, you will basically be blocking the ball. So you want to accelerate in that precise moment. Another very, very important factor as well is this one, okay? Listen to this, very important as well. Whenever you do the shot, the backhand shot, you start, right? You accelerate, like I said, and then at the end, check it out. 
you do have to open the racket angle somewhat because if you do this you see that you're accelerating you're not but you're not you the racket is in this angle you will be putting pressure on your arm and you will be missing the ball you want to do this at the end you want to accelerate and then at the end open the racket angle finish with the racket open you, you have to do that extremely important so accelerate and then open at the end you see that accelerate open accelerate open accelerate open very important to open that angle if you do not do that you will be causing great pain to your arm and your shot will not have that perfect trajectory okay so let's go for the last one very important as well the backswing you on the forehand okay you have to do more of a backswing than in the backhand on the forehand obviously you have to go back more as the ball is coming but in the backhand you also have to do a backswing but not as much check it out it's like this so you start here in the middle right and then in the middle as the ball is coming towards you you have to take it back and then finish it forward you're here back forward you're here back forward so remember the backswing is extremely important because the backswing it's it will start your stroke. It will make your stroke stronger and it will help your stroke finish on the table properly and hit that ball properly, that perfect backhand. Another super, super important factor that I did not put on my list, but I will be going with you over right now is the one as follows. Always, when you're hitting the backhand, always listen to this, make sure that you always hit the ball from the middle of your stomach I cannot emphasize that as much because for example they say you're standing right here the ball is coming straight at you yes it's perfect of course you do it from the middle boom perfect but let's say that the ball comes to this side over here okay you never ever do this never never ever do this like I see people doing they go like this from the side never do that never do that but rather if you're here right and the ball is coming this way you move and then you hit the ball from your middle. Then you go back to the center again. If it's coming this way again, you move and you hit it from your middle. You see that? So that is the key principle for the backhand and shots. If you apply those in your game, you will definitely, definitely hit that perfect backhand. And like I said, it's not extremely hard. It's not extremely difficult. It's actually a lot easier to hit the backhand why because you don't have to do as many long strokes like like with the forehand always remember all the shots in table tennis you have to finish pointing at your opponent never go to the side there's no need to do that okay so one more time from the middle semi-closed angle l-shaped relaxed arm also extremely important you have to as you hit it you have to have a relaxed motion you see that even if i go fast my arm is very relaxed. I'm not putting any pressure on my arm. At the moment that you hit, mm, mm, that you put pressure on your arm, you're gonna mess up the whole stroke. So make sure that you do it very relaxed. Just let the racket go forward with acceleration. Never ever move this. Don't, do not move the angle. Make sure that you finish at the end, open. Make sure that you start from the belly, the middle of your stomach, move. When the ball comes, you move to face your, the middle of your stomach, and then you hit it from there. If you apply these principles, I guarantee you, your game is going to skyrocket. When you know, whenever you have a training partner, practice this on the table. Make sure that you go over all the seven principles that I just mentioned and apply them in practice. And always, always remember that the most important thing in table tennis is to have fun. You know what? Just practice. Have fun, apply the perfect technique, of course, because that is the way that you will be actually improving in your game. And as you improve, you will have more fun. So do not get discouraged if you lose. Do not worry about that. The most important thing is that you're doing the proper shots and that you're doing them better and better all the time. So really hoping that you enjoyed this video. Hey, I have more videos in my channel. Go ahead and check them out as well. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. You will be greatly, greatly receiving many benefits from table tennis. And also, do not forget to hit like 
because whenever you hit like, it helps promote this video as well. So always remember that this seven key principles and on my next video, I will actually be doing something extremely wonderful. I will be covering the famous how to do the perfect top spin, which is the most important shot in the game after all, how to do the perfect top spin. So you do not want to miss that. Always keep on swinging and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.